வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு ஹிந்துஸ்தான் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி அண்ட் அவர் சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் செக்யூரிட்டி மை நேம் இஸ் இளையராஜா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஐடி அண்ட் டுடேஸ் செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஸோ பிஃபோர் தேட் வி வாண்ட் நோ வாட் இஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இஸ் அ டேட்டா தட் ஹேஸ் பீன் ப்ராசஸ்ட் ஆர்கனைஸ்டு ஆர் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்டு in a way that it will make a meaningful and a useful the data is nothing but a raw facts and figures without any context for example numbers dates strings of text etc and the information which is the data that has been given meaning through context or interpretation or processing for example report summarizing sales figures for a quarter or a year or monthly basis whatever it may be to know what is information security information security is the practice of protecting information by mitigating information risks which involves protection of information system and then the information process and it's stored and transmitted by these uh, the systems from we are protecting the systems from unauthorized access and unauthorized use and uh, disclosure of information important information disruption of regular activities modification or destruction of information which is being stored in our organization computer and in today's session as i told we are going to talk about a lot talk about critical characteristics of information and here i am listed out 11 characteristics in my point of view confidentiality integrity availability privacy identification authentication authorization accountability accuracy utility and possession let me start one by confidentiality we want to ensure the information is accessible only by the authorized users and we want to provide the protection to the sensitive information sometimes some information may be a public information we don't want to protect all those things but sensitive information must be properly protected from unauthorized access so for that we want to provide some encryption techniques while we sending any personal information to prevent unauthorized access or unauthorized view second one is integrity Uh, we are maintaining the accuracy and the completeness of information and processing methods we want to ensure that the information remains unaltered even during the transmission so by using some checks some sort of hashing techniques we can able to ensure that the data integrity next one is availability we are want to ensure that the authorized users can able to access all the information and associated assets when they are required so we want to dis- prevent uh, some disruptions like uh, denial of service uh, d- distributed denial of service attacks so by those uh, we can able to provide the uh, the availability to the users so we want to have some uh, redundant information systems and uh, we want to have some backups also we have we have to maintain always uh, the uptime is high and the privacy so we want to protect the personal information from unauthorized access and ensuring it is used appropriately so more or less the privacy and confidentiality are similar but somewhat it is deferred and here by providing uh, for providing the privacy we want to certain follow certain gdpr and hipaa regulations these are all the organizations are defining rules and regulations for providing the protection against uh, unauthorized access in the form of uh, privacy next one is identification so we want to identify or we want to recognize an individual or entity uniquely so for that we need to give user name password and we want to have use a biometric uh, kind of uh, verifications so all those things can be done by using the identification scheme and then authentication so we want to verify the identity of the person or entity so like id we want to have id card not only id card we want to have a qr code scanning so by that we can able to identify whether the person is the authorized one to enter into the place or the authorized person to enter to access the information so all those things we can verify and we want to ensure that the users who are the client so we want to verify the you know, photographs signatures all those things we can uh, go for with that and authorization so what the user is going to access so administrator level or user level based on that we have to provide the privileges to access so by the concept of control access we can able to provide the protection against unauthorized access and uh, privileges and here we have a role based access control one of the example for accountability so ensuring that whoever performs some actions in the particular system they are the responsible for the particular activity 
So we want to have a logging system for all the users, which are all the actions they have done. So all those things should be recorded for future decision making. And accuracy. So ensuring information is correct and free from errors. Okay. So we want to have accurate information and it should have some meaning. Okay. So we have to verify or we have to do some validation in the databases. Next one is utility. So how far the given information is useful for making decisions. So that is utility. So it is very important to ensure the information serves its proposal purpose effectively. So for that we have to provide the relevant information and actionable data in the business reports. The possession. So control or ownership of the information. So you want to ensure that information is in the hands of those authorized to access it. So we want to have uh, the protection against unauthorized access. We want to prevent unauthorized access, even physical access. And uh, in concluding remark, uh, the information security is not limited, uh, like uh, CAA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. It also having uh, some additional uh, characteristics like uh, privacy, identification, authorization, authentication, possession, accountability, all those things. If you want to maintain the accuracy and the completeness of information, it is very crucial for any uh, uh, decision making process in any organization. And information must be accessible and useful. And we want to ensure that authorized users can retrieve and apply it effectively to fulfill their objectives. So we want to give the availability to the users. Okay. So this is what uh, the critical characteristics of information. And uh, uh, we will discuss more on in upcoming topics. Thanks for watching. Thank you.